Hey everybody, it's Maureen from Never Gonna Give Wax Up. Today I'm going to be reviewing Hidden Holler Candles. And bear with me because this is going to be a long one. I have a lot of different shapes and scents in this order. Um, so today was like dress down day at work because on Fridays we get to wear jeans and then they pick a theme shirt to wear, which there wasn't one today. So I wear my awesome, can you see, regular show. Anybody seen that show? It's freaking awesome. You know, kid show on Cartoon Network, but I'm a big kid, so yeah. Um, so I'm looking kind of just kind of crazy right now because uh, it was a really long day at work and I always end up waiting till like the end of the night when I'm trying to be comfortable to do my reviews so so I have a huge box of things to review and I actually won this in her birthday giveaway so I got it last month and I it's taken me so long to do this only because there's so many different scents and different shapes so I really had to like research and write down everything because I couldn't remember the scents and um, so I went ahead and did a couple of my smaller orders first so I could get them out of the way and I didn't feel like things were all piling up but now I have them all written down and I am going to attempt to get this all right so, I, like I said, I won her birthday giveaway, and she offered to give me some scent shots or different, I could pick different shapes to do. And so, I chose the shapes because I had seen on her page a lot of different shapes that she had been giving, um, or making customers, and they were super cute. I have never seen so many different shapes from a company, and I'm one that really likes the, the, the cute shapes of wax and all that fun stuff. So she also included a couple of extra things that I had commented on her page that I thought were very pretty. And the first thing was this chunky brittle. I didn't know what it was at first, so I commented on it that I thought it was really pretty. And I'm going to take it out of the package and attempt to not ruin my package. Um, she told me that what she does with her leftover wax is she'll make these chunky brittles like she has pieces that she keeps next to there and this is how she makes the brittles so there's no scent on this. To me it smells like just a lot of different scents. Maybe some coffee. I don't know. It smells good. It smells kind of fruity with like a little musky scent to it but she she does make these with some leftover wax and I think it's really pretty. Um, I know my camera does not do it justice but there's like some brown and yellow and pink with glitter. So that was one of the freebies that she had added to my order. And the other one, if I can dig it out here, she made this. Look at how pretty that is. I don't know if you can really see the um, image imprinted there but it's a man and a woman obviously they had just got married on a motorcycle which is kind of cool and this is in the love me right scent this is mandarin bergamot orange enhanced with hints of peach and berries and an undertone of musk and a hint of peppermint and i've been so afraid to take this out of the package because i don't want it to break and there you can see look at all the beautiful sprinkles inside of there there's the back I definitely, when I first smell this, I get the peach. I'm not getting peppermint, but I definitely get the fruitiness and I get the small touch of musk. Actually, as I smell it more, I am getting kind of the peppermint. It's a really awesome scent. I've never smelled anything like this before. So I love it. And I think it's just absolutely beautiful. And she was very generous with the extras, even though this was my birthday package that I had won in her birthday giveaway. Another one here I have is Lemon Drops, and this one is just supposed to smell like a sugary lemon, which it does. It reminds me of Lemon Heads, if anybody knows what that candy is. This one is just awesome. And I like sugary lemons. I'm not a real, like, super citrusy lemon person, so that one is awesome. So now I'm going to start showing you the different shapes. And this first one here is Cotton Candy. And this is in a mustache shape with some glitter on it. Oh, mustache. Look at how cute these are. And two, three, four, five. So there's six 
different mustaches in here. They're all cotton candy scent. Very awesome. I love these. I wish more vendors offered these little mustaches. They're super cute. So I don't... I don't know if something overtook the scent of this in my box. I do have some uh, a tipsy apple scent, which is apple mixed with like bourbon. And when I first opened the box, everything just that was the only thing I could smell in this box. It was so overpowering, and I think it might have kind of overtaken this one because I do get a small hint of the cotton candy, but I really am smelling apples, and I don't I don't know why. But it still smells good, and who knows when I melt it, it might bring out the cotton candy scent more. But cotton candy is a more lighter scent anyways. The next one here I have is Shore Memories. And this is Watermelon Jolly Rancher with Lemon Pound Cake. Oh my god, that sounds so delicious. And I'm getting the watermelon and the lemon mixed together. It smells great. And this one is a bunny. So cute. The bunny has a little Easter basket and they're pink. This is a great fruity scent. I really enjoy that one. And it doesn't smell anything like apples, so I don't know why that other one does. This is my favorite shape out of the whole package. I told her to just pick different shapes. And but I had mentioned that I really love the little flip-flops. And I'm going to show you because they're all different colors and I really love that so she took her time getting the different colored wax there's green and orange and pink and purple and yellow and blue all sorts of colors and I think these are really adorable getting wax all over my laptop sorry so this is in Bubblicious scent it's very very light scented bubblegum Yeah, it, I smell the bubble gum. It's just very light, so I'm hoping it comes out more when I burn them. Like I said, these are my favorite shapes, so I'm very hesitant to burn them anyways. They're so cute. I have Jelly Bean. And this is described as wild cherry with peach and strawberry. Hints of cinnamon boost the cherry as a smooth combo of vanilla and musk creates sugary undertones. And these are hearts. There was two of these in the package. Really nice with the sprinkles in there. Instantly, when I smell this, I get the cherry. It smells like a cherry jelly bean. I don't get the cinnamon, so I'm not getting any spiciness out of it. I'm really only getting the cherry, which is fine with me because I like cherry. And when I think of jelly beans, that's one of the first things I think of. I'm just trying to see if it's my nose, if I can pick anything else up. No, I'm really just getting the strawberry and the cherry, which like I said is okay. Everybody's nose is different, so other people might pick out different smells, but that's what I smell. It's the most prominent scent. Next one I have is cookies and cream fudge. I'm not a bakery person, and I think I say that in like every video. A straight bakery person. Let me rephrase that. So I got this one kind of on a whim. Yeah, I'm getting chocolate. These are in shell shape. Really cute. I'm just trying to show you a couple of the different shapes so you can get an idea. They have glitter on them. She does awesome, awesome shapes and awesome work and a lot of detail to each different shape in the package considering each of these have... Some of the bigger ones only have two but most of them have five to six in the package. But... Yeah, this one I'm only really getting a chocolatey scent to. Cookies and cream fudge should smell chocolatey anyways. And I don't have the package for this one. Not sure what I did with it. And I already melted one of these, but this is blue cotton candy in the lip shape. And I actually melted one of these, but I didn't give them much time to um, cure. So I didn't get a lot of throw off of it, but I think maybe this is too small to put into a big glade warmer anyways by itself but it smells sugary blue cotton candy kind of makes me want to go out and have some cute again 
So I have Precious Puppy, which I thought was just really a cute name, so I ordered it. And it turns out it is Pink Grapefruit, Valencia Orange, and Key Lime as top notes. Pink Jasmine Blossoms, Rose Petal, and Ripe Apricot for middle notes. Bing Cherry and Plum as base notes. These ones are little roses. I know my camera's terrible. Instantly when I smell this, I definitely get the grapefruit and the orange. And a little floral. This one smells really good. I'm on a... Oh, I didn't even know this. I'm on a grapefruit kick lately. Sorry. I'm kind of like distracted and ADD here. Um, I'm on a grapefruit kick lately, so I find it very cleansing and refreshing. So to me, that this is going to be a really nice one for me. And what I was commenting on, I didn't notice there was glitter on the back of these. Not on the front, on the back. Really pretty baby blue color. The next one I have is Bombshell, which is a dupe of the Victoria's Secrets perfume, which I ordered from another vendor, and I loved it, but it was so strong that I had to turn it off because it was so overpowering. And uh, so a little info on what Bombshell is. Fresh, fresh citrus adds sparkle to blooming bouquet of white flowers, red berry, leafy green tones, and cashmere woods lead to the base of creamed musk and golden amber. This one definitely is not as strong as the other vendors I ordered, and it smells a little bit different. These are flowers. Very pretty with the red glitter. I do smell the green tone, the leafy greens. It does smell a lot like Bombshell, but like I said, it's not as close as the other one I ordered, and it's also not as strong, so I may actually like this one better because I won't have to turn my burner off. Georgia Schnapps. This one is Black Raspberry Jolly Rancher with Georgia Peaches. These are in little coffee cups. How cute is that? As soon as I open the package I can smell the black raspberry and the peach. This is a great contrast to both. Uh, absolutely yummy. I think we want to go out and have some peach schnapps. I don't know. I don't I don't really like schnapps, but oh, yeah, I really like this one. It's a perfect contrast of both of the fruity scents and who doesn't love the cute little coffee cups. The next one is Bermuda Triangle, cantaloupe, honeydew, and watermelon with citrus top notes of mandarin, tangerine, grapefruit, and lime with a hint of juicy Macintosh apples. And these ones are in big stars. They have yellow glitter on the back. Yeah. My camera doesn't pick up very light colors. So I'm smelling this. And I'm smelling peppermint, which is weird because it's not in this. Maybe it's a grapefruit I'm smelling mixed with something else, but for some reason... Yeah, I'm smelling peppermint. That's very weird. This smells actually really good. I don't know if it's supposed to have this pepperminty smell. It smells awesome. It smells like mint massage oil, like the eucalyptus mint. I don't know if maybe just all those smells mixed together are making it smell like that to me. next one I have and these ones are bunnies also or tipsy apples and I think that this is what was taking over my whole package when I opened it it was just very very overpowering this is green apples with a splash of bourbon and a hint of vanilla cute bunny again yeah it smells like drunken apples it smells like a you know a little touch of the bourbon but a lot of the apple and it has definitely calmed down since I opened the package and let it air out. Like I got these at the be the beginning, the first week of April. And like I said, when I opened this package, it was just like, whew, it's all I could smell in the package. And now it's 
it's definitely calmed down and I can get a contrast of all the smells. And the last one I have in here is vanilla chai. I had mentioned to her when she had said that she was making vanilla chai that that was one of my favorite drinks from Dunkin' Donuts. And she said she wasn't quite sure. She's never had the Dunkin' Donuts kind. And I said, well, it's, you know, ginger and cinnamon with the tea and vanilla. Vanilla tea. Um, and that's exactly what this is. Ginger, cinnamon, and vanilla. She had said that it sounded like it was what I was thinking of. So she sent some of these cute heart shapes. There's three of them in the package. I'm definitely getting the vanilla in this one. And I think some of the apple smell might have kind of made its way into this one also because I'm getting a touch of apple, which isn't supposed to be in the scent. Yep, I smell the cinnamon, a little bit of the vanilla. So overall, I was super excited with my order. I mean, these shapes are absolutely incredibly cute. And I can't say enough, she is super super nice she is so helpful her site is still really small so she goes out of her way to make sure that you're happy and I definitely will be purchasing again another awesome thing that she does is she has um, what do you call mason mason cups or mason jars with the handle on the side and she makes candles out of those also and she'll do like triple layers they're super super adorable and I just really can't say enough I kind of like went out on a whim ordering some of these scents out of my comfort zone and I was pleasantly surprised with a lot of them and like I said even though some of these the apple really took over that was not her fault that was just because it's an overpowering scent and I think as I burn these the smell will probably bring out the original fragrance oil so what I'm smelling on cold sniff probably is not such a great indication of what it's going to smell like warm. I think it's just kind of because they were all in the box together. Um, yeah, definitely check her out. Hidden Holler Candles. She has a Facebook group by the same name and she also has a website. Her turnaround time is super, super awesome. This weekend she is doing a scent shot sale for a dollar a scent shot and I think if you order 10 you get five free. So I don't know you really really cannot beat that sale it's just amazing but you have to be a part of her group so if you want in on that sale make sure you go like her group on Facebook so you can get in on it I mean I can't say enough from what I've melted so far little pieces here and there I've been pleasantly surprised and I know that other people are just like raving about her on her page and have huge huge stashes of her stuff already because all the shapes are really just adorable so I would highly recommend checking out her Facebook group and putting an order in for the dollar cent shots. You really just can't go wrong getting five free when you order ten. Just to try a new company out and see what you think. I've been very happy with what I received. And her shapes are probably my favorite thing. But I might be buying a few cent shots even though I have a whole ton of stuff to burn here and kind of test out. But she's uploaded a lot of new scents that sound amazing to me, so we'll see. I'll try and restrain myself because I'm on a ban, but it doesn't usually work out. So thank you for checking out my channel, and definitely go check out Hidden Holler Candles and like her page, group page on Facebook for awesome sales and awesome customer service. Lee is great, and I can't say enough about her. Check it out. Thank you for watching.